Hi everyone, uh, this is Walt Bayless with Rep1. We're going to be uh, starting in just a few moments, so uh, take an opportunity to grab a cup of tea or coffee or glass of water. Make sure we've got our phone switched off and uh, no distractions for a few minutes. Just, I wanna go through uh, something that's costing businesses you know, $100,000 a year, so it's worth your time. Uh, and this, this problem really, it's easy to solve. Um, so we'll begin in just a moment. We've just got a few more people coming into the presentation there, so we'll just let them all gather in and uh, make sure everybody's settled and comfortable. So this is a pretty important presentation. As we walk through this, uh, I've experienced personally um, tens of thousands of dollars lost uh, due to this one simple thing to be able to solve. And, and in today's world, it's even more prevalent. So we're gonna start in just a few moments and walk through. Okay, so for those who are here, let's, uh, let's kick off. So let's talk about the biggest threat. What we're going to be going through in this presentation is the biggest threat to businesses. And businesses can be losing up to 80% of their customers without even knowing it. Uh, and that can be costing more than $100,000 per year. Uh, or it can be costing up to $30,000 per year to try and combat it. And also, as an extra aside during this presentation, how there are literally tons of customers looking for you and your business right now uh, and walking straight past um, and how we can capture those as well. So first of all, let's talk about this biggest threat and what it looks like. And you might be surprised that what this threat actually looks like is something that you'll see every single day. It looks like this. It looks like somebody with a cell phone. Uh, and as we know, you know, across the world, Everybody's got them. Everybody's got a smartphone these days. Everybody's connected to the internet or the majority of people have the internet at their fingertips. And businesses have uh, their reputations at stake and they can be made and broken within seconds using just the keyboard on a phone. As people jump onto social media and, and tweet about perhaps a bad experience or about something that's happened to them and businesses are affected by this massively. In fact, in some of the studies we've seen um, that uh, when, when the studies were conducted, 80% of people said that they would actually choose a, another business to, to transact with, to do business with, on account of one bad review, right? So something that's said online innocently enough as a customer walks out of your business on their social media site or whatever can then cost you 80% of your business ongoing. You wouldn't even know that it's happened. Uh, and that kind of loss is not something that, that uh, most businesses would like to, to sustain. So let's talk, talk about how this all came to, uh, to pass and a story. There's an airline here in Qantas, and it was an article, an airline here in Australia, sorry, called Qantas. And uh, in an article, it talked about one particular case where somebody uh, was having a bad experience at check-in. So, I mean, air, airlines are stressful enough and jumping onto flights, lots of people do it every day. But in the case where the check-in didn't go extremely well and there was a, a bad experience had. So what happens was, of course, as we just talked about, the lady pulls out her cell phone and she jumps online and she says, this is the worst airline experience I have ever had. Now, she didn't keep that to herself. She tweeted that with over 200,000 followers. What do you think that's worth to a business? You know, and, and not just an airline. What do you think it's worth to any business where you're, you're working so hard to generate leads? You're, you're out there, you're doing advertising, you've got campaigns running, you've got staff, you've got stock, you've got all of the costs associated with doing business. And something as simple as a tweet can literally cost you tens of thousands of dollars. In a study, The Telegraph uh, over in the UK actually said that bad reviews and online trolls were costing UK businesses up to £30,000 per year to try and uh, in, in lost business or try and uh, to rectify that situation. And as we said, over 80% of people who see that will, would choose to go to another business. And that's not something that, that we can afford. That same article in The Telegraph said that the cost was somehow uh, combated by businesses who are trying to overcome it with a, with uh, 11 to 20,000 pounds per year. I'm not sure what that translates for local currency for you, but for 11 to 20,000 pounds, I think that's uh, in the time of recording, close to double with uh, Australian dollars. And I think it's about close to double with US as well. So let's say $30,000 in, uh, in dollars per year to try and combat it with a worrying 18% spending up to 30,000 pounds per year on challenging those malicious uh, posts and online uh, comments. So a PR firm 
actually went on to put some numbers against that study uh, and said, what if your annual customer value was 3,000? Now, I don't know what your customer value is, but if we're looking at the lifetime value of a customer. So if, you're, if your annual, and this is taking an average, you know, obviously some customers are going to be worth more, some businesses are going to have a lower value, but um, interestingly enough, 80% still stacks up to be a large number. So what if, what if your customer value was $3,000 per year? And if, if your bad review or that innocent comment or seemingly innocent comment on social media was costing you just one prospect per week, or actually four per month, I've done the numbers here, four per month at 48 per year, that is a potential loss of $144,000 per year. See, as we know, bad and negative comments hit the web fast and they make massive influence on other people who are searching for your business and searching as they're seeing um, different experiences or posts from people, they're making those decisions based on comments made by uh, people that are out of your control. So coming back to our case study with our, our worst airline experience I've ever had, it's not that bad experience. What we actually found is not the end of that story. It's not the end of the story. It's how you handle it. See, I've come from a hospitality background all that time ago. Um, into hospitality, I got into restaurants and managing restaurants, uh, working through Australia and New Zealand. And uh, you know, we had quite a lot of restaurants under, under management under, at one point in time. But very early in my career, um, I got taught a very valuable lesson about this phenomenon that we're talking about here. See, what happened was um, a, a lovely people at the restaurant uh, sitting at the table uh, and their meal was running late. And I'm sure you've had that experience. We've put the order in and you know, you're just, then it's just nothing. It's silence. <laughs> Where is the food? And uh, these people have been waiting about 30 minutes or 35 minutes, which is a long time to wait in a restaurant. And uh, as I was looking at these, at these customers, what I saw was they were getting angrier and angrier. And being junior in management, I didn't know how to handle that. And so I did what sort of first came to mind, which was the biggest mistake. And I hid. <laughs> I, I couldn't make eye contact with these customers. I literally ducked my head, went into the kitchen and started yelling at the chefs. Come on, guys, quickly. You know, they've been waiting half an hour. Come on, come on, come on. The, the more I hid from these customers, the angrier they got. And then it was a senior manager that actually took me aside and said, listen, how to handle that situation is very, very simple. And it's a powerful tool called communication. And with very simple communication, to be able to walk back over to a table that uh, the meals are running late, and let's face it, those things happen, to walk over to those customers and say, uh, can I buy you a drink? You know, the meals are going to be an extra 10 minutes. And you would know yourself. If a waiter came over and said, listen, I'm sorry, the meals are a little bit late. Can I uh, perhaps offer you a drink from a bar? Uh, and they shouldn't be too far away. If you keep that communication, it turns a customer from that angrier and angrier, what's happening and nobody's coming near me, to they turn into good customers and, and referral customers, which is amazing. So coming back to that airline, as I said, it's not the end of the story. She jumps onto her social media with over 200,000 followers and said it's the worst airline experience I've ever had. Now, this is where customer service intervened. Luckily, the airline was able to catch that comment and they steered the lady over to customer service. They were able to communicate with her personally, deal with the situation and get her checked in. They, they, they solve the issue, they resolve the problem, they get her checked in, she jumps back onto social media and she said, now that's what I call service. I will never fly with anyone else. Okay, so she's actually gone from a bad experience to good. She's gone on to rave. See, it's not about a bad experience. We can read about a bad experience online, but if the following post then is, uh, and wow, they really looked after me when I had this issue, they solved it, everything's great, and I couldn't recommend them highly enough, that's actually worth more. So it's not about the bad review, it's about the communication, uh, and that bad experience to good is worth gold. And again, as we talked about with bad publicity hitting the web fast and costing businesses tens of thousands of dollars, most of the time without them even knowing, good comments and good publicity online are worth tens of thousands in revenue. And we've all seen when we're looking at buying a product or service and the reviews are glowing, when we talk about great service, that makes the buying decision for us. And again, it's a matter of being able to communicate and, and protect yourself to have that ability to, uh, to overcome those situations if they appear. And that's where I want to introduce our program called RepWarn. And RepWarn is your 24-7 web monitor. 
What it does is it's web-based, so you can jump on from anywhere. If you're on your phone, on an iPad, on, an, on, a, on a laptop, on a Mac, a PC, anything at all. We've also got our iOS and Android apps. You can monitor for unlimited keywords. And we're talking about your brand name. So people can mention your brands or your products or your personnel or your people, your locations, even your competitors. Uh, and you can keep an eye. So if anybody mentions somebody's been in your, your business, they, they jump onto their social media and they talk about it, you have an immediate alert coming your way. So you have that instant notification. And what's better than that is it allows you to interact at the point of contact, and this is huge, I'll explain what I mean by that in just a second. But if somebody tweets, somebody jumps onto Twitter and says something about your business or service, Rep1 will alert you and allow you to respond on Twitter so you can actually make sure that they see it. See, if you if they've posted something on Twitter and you try and send them an email, well, they're not looking at their email right now. They're looking at Twitter right now. So this point of contact is a huge benefit, being able to immediately communicate with people as they mention your products, services, brands, or personnel. So let's look at RepOne and your business. Let's go and check it out and, and let's have a real live view of RepOne. So this is our RepOne dashboard. As I said, it's web-based, accessible from anywhere in the world. Uh, and so we, we have this concept of alerts. We can set up unlimited alerts to notify us. So we might have a, one alert on product names, one alert on brand, one alert on personnel, one alert on locations. I'll show you what I mean. So let's look at, for example, brand names. And uh, let's choose a few well-known ones here. Let's put in here Starbucks, for example. Uh, that'll probably get billions. <laughs> I'll go tire power. Uh, let's use our friend Qantas as an example. So this would be your brand, yeah? So uh, if we've got um, your own business name, your product name, your brand names, okay? And you can choose, uh, do you want those notifications to hit your, your app immediately? Do you want an email? So you can turn that on or off and just get the app notifications. Uh, or do you want a daily summary? You know, if it's not something that you need to respond to immediately, maybe you just want that, immediate, uh, that daily update. And again, we can choose where we want RepWarn to look. So maybe it's not so important uh, for us to be monitoring Yelp or Instagram or, or uh, forums, but of course we can monitor any and all of those. So we have some hotel clients who are monitoring specifically on, um, so they've got web turned on and they're monitoring TripAdvisor and they've got Yelp and they've got uh, YouTube for video reviews and that kind of stuff. So it depends where you want to get these alerts. So let's have a look what happens and we'll set this up and I'll literally just click on create my alert. And literally within seconds, there we go, we've got hundreds already. With those brand names, that would happen fairly quickly. But you can see that these are coming through. So I can now, uh, what happens now is I can literally click and I can go straight to that particular website. So if somebody's commented on a review, I've got that immediate link straight through. We've seen Facebook there. If you've got uh, Facebook, uh, again, I can go to directly to the Facebook post and that's happening in seconds. Okay, absolutely seconds. And it's not just these big brands that it happens in seconds. I'll show you in a few moments some real live uh, ex uh, examples where we've been setting up for clients and had this, uh, this immediate impact. Um, so we can see so many things happen straight away. And again, this is how quick RepOne really works. So easily able to set up keywords, brand names, and get those immediate notifications and those immediate alerts. Okay. So what about with your business, your brands? You can monitor unlimited keywords. We can interact and respond in live time. And, and of course, it covers every avenue. Wherever people are commenting or having a discussion, RepWarn is right there. And it really is your best business insurance policy. And like most insurance, you know, you hope you never have to use it. But there's that, that time. And, and let's, let's um, say, for example, that somebody's posting a great comment. And I'm sure with your business that people are going to be talking in a positive light as well as anything else. And if that positive comment hits the web, you can just jump to work and start sharing it. Share it on Facebook, share it on, on YouTube or Twitter and share co positive comments and help the positive publicity get around as well. But it's, a, it's your best business insurance policy to have Rep1 monitoring for those keyword mentions. Somebody jumps onto Twitter or jumps onto Facebook or YouTube or their blog uh, and comments about your business, Rep1 knows about it straight away. 
So let's have a look at some of the customers that are currently using the RepWarm business system. And, and our first uh, testimonial came in from a real estate agent, which was amazing. Um, so what they actually said was, wow, real estate agents go to all lengths to know what's happening in their neighborhoods. RepWarm makes the monitoring so easy. One well-placed alert and we pick up listings from anybody looking in the area and can keep tabs on people looking for houses in the area as well. Amazing. And that came from a real estate agent, a gentleman named George, which was incredible. Uh, a small business and electrical company. These guys, I think, have got about 10 employees. Uh, and they had this to say, monitoring your reputation is key, but RepWarn makes it easy. We also set the system to receive alerts for anyone looking for electricians in our area and have picked up a lot of business already. Love RepWarn, great system. So what they're talking about there, they literally said, uh, they set up their alerts to look for on a lead generation basis, uh, electricians in whatever the suburb is. And so somebody jumps onto their Facebook or Twitter and says, does anybody know a good electrician in their suburb? And they're getting the alerts and able to communicate. And uh, just by being there and communicating, they're picking up a lot of business, which is great. We had a great testimonial come in from uh, somebody who is a business coach and online marketer, a gentleman named Tom Beal. Uh, Tom's responsible for multi-million dollar campaigns. Tom's run incredible businesses and consulted with some of the biggest names in business across the world. Uh, and Tom had this to say, I love the notices and pings that come through to the mobile apps. Being somewhat in the public eye, I don't always get a chance to know when somebody saw me in an audience or attended a talk I was presenting. With RepWarn, if somebody comments, I can interact immediately. Protection of brand and reputation is so crucial and RepWarn makes it easy. That's from somebody that's doing a lot of public speaking, a lot of business consulting and talking. But that, was, that wasn't the end of Tom's experience. Tom actually jumped back on to uh, record a video for us uh, and there's a, a longer snippet of his video on the page, but just to, I want to let you hear from Tom exactly what he had to say. Hello, my name is Tom Beal, CEO of Remarkable Marketing, and I'm here to chat with you today about reputation management. Unless you've been hiding under a rock, you recognize that it goes well beyond customer service nowadays. It goes to the interwebs. It goes towards social media. There is Twitter. There is Instagram. There is Facebook. And when the stuff starts to roll... <laughs> Um, it, it spreads there before it gets to your help desk, before your customer service department is able to help you uh, with your reputation management. There's a tool out there called RepWarn, and RepWarn takes it above and beyond the simple tools that are available to the normal marketplace. RepWarn takes it above and beyond, and that's that was such a great testimonial to get uh, from Tom. I really uh, appreciated that coming through. I want to talk to you about uh, something that really is in the public eye, uh, and introduce you to a resort called Sapphire. And Sapphire was recently voted the world's best luxury boutique hotel. Okay, and in, in hospitality, these guys are talking $2,000 a night or $2,500 a night per room. So, you know, you lose one customer and uh, that's a heck of a, a, an impact on your bottom line. Uh, Justin King, who's the general manager of Sapphire, had this to say. In hospitality, reputation is everything. At Sapphire, we hold the title as voted as the best luxury boutique hotel in the world. That doesn't come easily. Now with RepWarn, we're able to monitor and interact with any of our guests or press that are referencing the resort in any media on the web. So in the public eye and in the, in the uh, I guess, uh, top area of, of monitoring reputations and, and comments and feedback, um, Sapphire using RepWarn was an amazing testimonial. So we've got brand protection and reputation monitoring. That's a big tick because you can you can really fine tune your keywords and have RepWarn alert you at the right time when anything is mentioned that you need to act on. So you can monitor an unlimited amount of keywords and you've got that brand protection built in. But you know that's that's great and that's a perfect example of how to use the system uh, as that insurance policy that we talked about. But what about more sales? You know, let's talk about not only protecting the bottom line that we have, but also increasing it. Uh, and so let's look at how to use the system to generate the hottest kinds of leads there is. And this is, this is I'm really serious about this. This is um, way, way, way better than any advertising that you'll do. See, with, with advertising, you put up an ad, you know, it might be in a local paper, it might be on TV, it might be a billboard, it might be on the internet. You put up an ad, and you're literally shouting your message to the masses. You're saying, please, if anybody's out there's interested in our service, come to me. This is my ad. But with this particular style of lead generation, you are so targeted. People who are genuinely looking for your business will be able to find you. So let's have a look at lead generation with RepWarn. 
And this is where I've actually got a live example that our, our real estate agent, um, I was doing the setup for them. So I was actually recording, you know, this is how you set it up and this is how we this is how we uh, put it together for you. So I was, I was, you know, creating a little bit of a, a how to do it for them. Uh, and uh, while I was setting it up, literally while I was recording the tutorial, there popped up a lead. Now, in rep, in real estate, the average lead is worth four thousand seven hundred dollars in commission. Uh, that's taking into account all kinds of things. But let's let's have a look at what Rep Warren found within twenty seconds while I was setting it up for a client. So, as we said, average value for a real estate lead four thousand seven hundred. So uh, real estate agent, as we can see, again, lots of r results here, um, real estate agent. Can anybody recommend a good real estate agent in Templestowe? Hello. Dink, all right, this website, obviously, can anybody recommend? Look, somebody here has asked that question, um, and you'll be able to find it. So where is it? Uh, a real estate agent in there we go. And anybody recommend good real estate agent in Temple Toe? There we go. Look at that. Uh, and you can you can obviously register on this site and, and uh, be the person that pops up and responds. So you can see immediately how uh, that would be a, a terrific lead. So literally while I was doing the setup, that's how quick that rep one actually works. So uh, how many leads would it take for you to, to generate new business uh, for people that are actually looking in your area, looking for your business and service right now? So lead generation, and again, let's do this live. Let me show you again uh, the rep one dashboard and let's set up a lead generation campaign. So again, we'll go here and we'll create this alert and uh, let's try and find a few things here. So I'll put in here a lead generation alert and and again this will be dependent on your business or service so uh, let's find a dentist in Washington all right let's find let's look for a lawyer in Sydney actually let's be let's be more specific and say personal injury lawyer lawyer in Sydney uh, let's try and find a uh, I'm not sure a chiropractor chiropractor in Chicago. <laughs> okay, this I'm I'm doing this live, so I'm literally I'm not sure whether we're going to have anything come through here, but I just wanted to show you how this works. So let's create this alert. Uh, there we go, straight away lead generation alert. Bang. So we've got a chiropractor in Chicago, chiropractor in Chicago, chiropractor in Chicago. That's good. Uh, let's see, chiropractor in Chicago, personal injury lawyers in in Brisbane. There we go. Um, and you can see literally how quickly it comes through. Now, some of these might be your competitors. They might have set it up. And again, what a great way to keep at, uh, keep a look and thing. A family dentist in Washington. There we go. Dentist in Washington. Dentist in Washington. You can literally see how quickly this is coming through. Okay. Podiatrist, dentist. Again, that might be a competition. Dentist in Washington. Okay. So how about you set up your business so that you can scan and monitor for those keywords that could be potentially fantastic leads for you. You'll be able to monitor the web 24 seven and anybody that's looking for that particular service or anybody that's mentioning anything like that, because let's face it, people jump onto their social media first and they ask their circle of influence. Does anybody know a good? Has anybody, can anybody recommend a, um, do you know of a, Right? And that can be your business. And RepWarn will find those leads. Okay, RepWarn will immediately alert you and find those leads for you. And you'll be able to immediately interact and respond. So RepWarn uh, can do that lead generation for you. Now, so I, I really need to ask, do you think it's a powerful tool for your business? Do you think being able to protect your brand and reputation, put in place that insurance policy? Remember we talked about the uh, the, the case that 80% of people said they would move on to a different business if they saw one bad review. So do you think that that would be something that you put in place? What about generating more business with lead generation and using it some like some of our clients already are? And making more sales, delivering service like never before, being able to have that communication tool.
Is it something that you need to think about? Again, if we look at that article in the Telegraph, they went on to, to poll, to survey a thousand business decision makers and they were saying that uh, more than 50% were saying they had either experienced it or they were um, worried about it in the future. So we can see that, they, you know, something, if, even if we haven't had that experience so far, we know that social media moves so fast and it is definitely something as a concern and something that, that, that you need to think about. So, Again, let me ask you, how much is your customer worth to you? And can you afford to lose 80% of them because of a simple comment that might be missed by a customer as they're, as they're uh, experiencing your business? So again, I don't know what your numbers are, but that PR site we talked about at $3,000 per customer, if you were just losing four prospects a month, that's $144,000 a year. So do you think that this protection is needed? And, and do you think that the web is moving faster or slower and you think it will increase or decrease? Of course, it'll increase. And this ability for people to be able to influence the uh, business or influence the ongoing welfare of a business with their social media tools is going to only get stronger. So protecting your brand, generating more business and sales. If that $144,000 figure is, is accurate, even if it's half accurate, if you're $1,500 per client or even... A quarter, if we're at seven hundred and fifty dollars per client, can you afford to lose lose forty eight of them? I think you know we're talking thirty thousand dollars per year. The cost of rep one is very simple. It's just ninety seven dollars per month, or if you wanted to grab a bit of a discount, it's nine hundred ninety seven dollars for a whole year. So you can protect your business, generate leads, and have everything rep one working for you on an unlimited basis for less than a hundred dollars per month. So less than twenty five dollars per week you know, uh, less than $4 per day to have a constant monitor and a brand protection system in place, a reputation protection, communication tool in place, and lead generation. Talk about more sales. It doesn't take many more sales for rep for RepWarn to be able to pay for itself in entirety. And of course, you can start with us for a dollar. Give us a try for seven days. Put in your keywords, put in your brands and your products and start to see the kind of uh, feedback that you're getting and start to see the comments that have been made or you know, start to see the, the influence that people are having online. You can get started with us for a dollar. So what you need to do is click on the link below this message. Um, below this presentation, you'll, you'll see a link there where you can click through and literally pick up RepWarn working for you for a dollar starting from today. And you can have this system monitoring your brands, protecting your business, generating leads for you for less than $1,000 per year. Uh, for the whole next 12 months, you can have that uh, experience of RepWarn and of course, get started with, with just a dollar. While you're just finishing off there, I'll, I'll just answer a couple of questions that I always get asked. How many keywords can I monitor? Look, it's unlimited. You can create an unlimited amount of groups. As I mentioned, brand names, product names, personnel, location, Key, key staff members, um, key words that drive your business, whatever it is, you can have unlimited numbers there. Uh, how quickly will I be notified? Literally as soon as it's visible on the web. So Rep1 does a search every five minutes and, and some things show up faster than others. Twitter and YouTube are very, very fast. Um, some people, when they post on a blog, it might take two or three days. But the great news is, that as soon as the web has picked up on that post, RepWarn picks up on it. So as soon as it's visible publicly, uh, RepWarn will have that notification in your hands. So which means if somebody's posted on their blog and, and the internet doesn't know about it, then you don't need to worry about it. But as soon as the internet does know about it, RepWarn knows about it and it'll have it in your hands and able to deal with it. And as I said, some of that social media, really it happens immediately. So uh, you'll be notified. You can also set, you know, oh, I don't wanna get an email every time something happens. Well, that's fine. Just set it on a daily summary and and you can uh, have that come through in a consolidated report. Are there tutorials? Absolutely. There's a full video walkthrough for everything, including the fast start, how to get started, some tips on how to create the searches in the best possible way and keep them geographically uh, located. It, the, everything is walked through there. And am I locked in? No, not at all. Wiki, you can start with the $1 trial and see for yourself. I'm sure you're going to love it. And I'm sure you'll see how over a 12 month period, this is a massive investment uh, to protect your company and generate more business for you. So for a dollar trial, you can see that. But again, for the period of a 12 month uh, protection for less than a thousand dollars a year. This is something that can be working for you 24/7. And, and you know, if you're if you're standing on losing 80% of your customers from one bad comment, that's an insurance policy you want to have. And again, on the lead generation, if we talk about just one customer, it doesn't take much to pay for the whole system. But of course, you can cancel anytime. 
So what you need to do is click the link below this presentation and grab your $1 trial, literally get started with this, um, go through the tutorials and you'll be set up within a few minutes of uh, processing through. So I hope you've seen some great value with RepOne. It really is a terrific tool that we are looking after businesses all over the world already. And uh, I'm looking forward to protecting your brand and reputation, your own business and generating that additional revenue for you uh, using our RepOne system. Thanks very much for attending the presentation. I really appreciate it. Uh, click the link below and uh, jump on with us for, for a $1 trial and take advantage of being able to protect your business and generate more sales for, uh, for, the, for the cost of less than $100 a month or, or even cheaper, less than 1000 a year. So click the link below and I'll look forward to welcoming you aboard RepOne soon.